Holy Spirit came and he has a ministry to reveal to us the things that are freely given to us of God. Next verse. Which things also we speak. Now, I want you to observe a principle here. Which things also we speak. That means the Holy Spirit reveals to us these things, then we speak these things. Come on, amen. He reveals to us this th these things, then we speak these things. You know, yesterday we were looking at Daniel, and Daniel in his prayer to God, he said, Oh God, he says, wisdom and might belong to you. Then later Daniel said, you have given me wisdom and might. So he didn't just say, God, wisdom and might belong to you. He also started speaking the wisdom of God. He says, wisdom and might you have given to me. That means he was saying that I'm in possession of the wisdom of God. I'm in possession of the might of God. Paul, writing in the scripture, get that scripture back up. Now go back. It says, which things also we speak. Then he says, not in the words which man's wisdom teacheth. So we speak the things that the Spirit reveals to us in a language that the Spirit communicates. Come on, amen. It says, not in the words which man's wisdom teacheth, but which the Holy Ghost teacheth. Lift your hands up. Say, the Holy Spirit is my teacher. Praise God. You know, he is your teacher. He says, get the scripture back up. He says, but which the Holy Ghost teacheth. Then he says, comparing spiritual things with spiritual. Uh, this same verse 12, go back to verse 12. we we'll read from the NIV version 12 into 13. NIV. We have not received the spirit of the world, but the spirit who is from God. You know, King James says, which is, but NIV says, who is, letting you know that the Holy Spirit is a person, you know, who is from God, that we may understand what God has freely given us. Next verse. This is what we speak not in words taught us by human wisdom. That means these words will not be taught in any university in the world. You know, you won't get it from um, scientific findings. You won't get it from any philosophical class. These words, the Holy Ghost teaches these words. It is but in words taught by the Spirit expressing spiritual truth in spiritual words expressing spiritual truth in spiritual words um, verse 13 now um, let me look at it from the amplified version we are setting these truths forth in words not taught by human wisdom but taught by the Holy Spirit words taught by the Holy Spirit then he says, look at this, combining and interpreting spiritual truths with spiritual language to those who possess the Holy Spirit. Isn't this wonderful? He says, we are expressing spiritual truth, interpreting spiritual truths with spiritual language to those who possess the Holy Spirit. Passion Translation, verse 13. And we articulate these realities with the words imparted to us by the, by the Spirit. Not with the words taught by human wisdom. We join together Spirit-revealed truths with Spirit-revealed words. Come on, amen. Now, the Holy Spirit is the biggest thing in you know I, 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 
in my mind, I want to say the Holy Spirit is the biggest thing in Christ, yet he is Christ, you know. Uh, but I, I'm just trying to let you understand that being born again is a means to an end. Jesus didn't come to die for the sins of the world. That's not why he came. He came to establish the kingdom of God. But for you to live in that kingdom and express and experience life in that kingdom, you must of necessity become a new creature. So the new creation or the new birth is only a prerequisite, a necessary prerequisite for the greater part of salvation to happen. And the greater part of salvation is Christ in you, is being filled with the Spirit. You know, he, his desire had always been that his abode be with man. You know, that's always been his desire. To fellowship with man. Oh, 2 Corinthians chapter 13 verse 14. 2 Corinthians 13, 14. Look at this. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. The love of God. And the communion of the Holy Ghost be with you all. Amen. Now, I want you to observe this. He says, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says that no man, he says the law came by Moses, but grace and truth came by Jesus. He says, no man has seen the Father at any time. But he says, the one who came from the bosom of the Father, he had revealed him to us. So we see that grace, Jesus brought grace. He brought grace. Then he says, the love of God. It's not Jesus who loved us and gave himself for us. Jesus is the expression of God's love. 